All right, so you have the crown prince of Austria, this well-groomed man named Franz Ferdinand and his beautiful wife, Sophia, who, out of brain power, decide to go on a pleasant drive in an open-top car in an empire that despises them. And so... What happens? Well, a Serbian anarchist named Gavrilo Princip, fighting for a unified Bosnia, decides to assassinate them when they show up on his lane, when he's getting a sandwich. Yes, the course of human history was shaped by a wrong turn and a sandwich. Now, that's not even half of it. The next part is that because of this, Austria declares war on Serbia, which is allied with powerful nations like Russia. Now, the war that Russia would eventually get involved in, World War I, because of the Tsar's incompetence, people started to hate how the war was going, and they were advocating for peace. And so, the Tsar ruined his reputation even more, and when the Bolsheviks were finally gaining more notoriety in the Russian Empire, it seemed everybody was against him, especially after all of the mutinies and <laughs> the whole Rasputin thing. And so he would resign and Lenin would take his place shortly after, even though it was unintentional. And so Lenin would do what authoritarian leaders do, and so would Stalin and Khrushchev and so on. And then the USSR was devolved thanks to Gorbachev's reforms, you know, even though he didn't want that to happen. Uh, and so we have Vladdy Boy now waging a conflict with great consequences, not just for his own nation and the one he is fighting, but also for the rest of the entire world. And that is how it, the dominoes align. See how everything is connected, people?